Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. We're going to hop into this Pisces and we're going to um, try to get some information about your person. Things that you don't know about them, you know, on a deeper level. Any um, mental or emotional things they, they may be experiencing within their personal life, you know, or within the one person's self. Okay, and we're going to get the spirit in here to help uh, help me um, deliver these messages to you, right, in the clearest form. Okay, so spirit, please come in. I invite you here to help me deliver Pisces the clearest message for what they person is going through. Things that Pisces don't know about. Things that may affect their mental health, spiritual, physical, mental, or emotional, okay? Okay? Things that may affect this person's everyday life that they keep under wraps, you know? What's going on with them, Spirit? Please come in and help me deliver this message to Pisces. Thank you. All right, so Pisces, let's hop into it. What's going on with your person, baby? Okay, we got victory and success. Okay, seems like your person may be a risk taker, Okay? This is someone who finds light in the darkest of places. This is a resilient person, someone who has a strong will, um, knows how to take a leadership role, um, knows how to get out there and get it, find their own resources, do their own, you know, homework on things. And um, yes, I really believe that they blow whistles, right? Okay, whatever that may mean, <laughs> blowing whistles, whatever that means, okay? <clears throat> we also have the four of cups, right? And this is discontentment and boredom, okay? So um, I feel like you're dealing with a highly intelligent person who, you know how like, I hope this is you, you know what I'm saying? But you know how like sometimes you just be around a lot of people that does not feed the mind, the body, the spirit, right? You just feel like, oh, this the same, oh, we just keep having those same conversations. Oh, you know, it's like some, your person is discontent with the environment, whether that be the work environment, the environment at home, the environment with their family, whatever. It, it, something about your person gets really bored really easily and they like to detach themselves from um, things like that. Okay, they don't like low vibrational people. That's just what I'm getting. They don't they don't want to even be bothered. They don't want to entertain. Okay? The number 6 again. Okay? And this one is all about moving on. Okay? <sighs> it doesn't seem like your person likes to stay in one place too long. It's like once they conquer something, it's boring. It's it's time to find the next best exciting thing. Okay, this person likes to take charge of their life, right? They don't like to be in a space where nothing grows. Okay? That's that's it, okay? So, um, what's crossing their energy is stand your ground. Okay? So this person is very I feel like stubborn when it comes to something they want to do, something they're inspired by, something they can feel in their spirit. I feel like nothing or no one could stand in their way when it comes to what they want to do, how they want to do it. Okay? That's that's what the universe wants you to know about this person, Pisces. Things you may not know about them. They seek success in everything. They have to be the best or want to be the best at everything. Okay? They take risks, but, and they trust in themselves. Okay? This person, I feel like they're highly intelligent and they don't like being around low vibrational people or, you know, in just dull places where there's no intelligence. Okay? This person is, um, you know, once they conquer a situation of people, a community, it's time to move on and do the next best. Let's do something else big, right? So they're like a traveler or an adventurer or someone who just, you know, want to experience all they can while they're here. 
and that's what they believe in. That's what they stand for. And nothing can stop them, not even you. Okay? So let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's see what else comes with this. So when it comes to victory and success, okay, what does that mean for Pisces, curse, and spirit? Okay? It means that they're tapped in with their higher self. You know, they know who they are. They know what they want. They love themselves. Okay? They, um... They always got good news, right? Because they know so much. They do so much, you know, and, and they like to speak on more of the positive things that, that happens to them, you know, um, kind of like an ego, right? It's like, I'm the best. I know I'm the best. And I also like to brag about my successes and my triumphs and everything I've endured, you know? So it just seems like they have a lot of stories to tell. The tower, okay? This tower actually came in the reverse. I hate when I do that, you know, but I'm called to read this tower in the reverse here, okay? Because even though... Your person uh, likes adventure. There are still a lot of things that they hold on to that they need to let go of, that they refuse to let go of. Okay, and this is probably where they get that goal-oriented or that go-getter spirit or that grit, you know, that perseverance, whatever that is. This is where it comes from. Something was taken from them, okay? In their past or whatever, however, something was taken from them and it it pushed them to want to have the best, be the best. You know what I'm saying? Keep going, keep striving. It's never enough. You know, I whatever I do, I know I could do it better. Whatever I once I've mastered or conquered something, I have to find something else, another project, right? So it's like something was taken away from this person that kind of put them in that energy of I got to get it no matter what, put them in that energy of, I have to be the best, no matter what, right? It's like, they don't depend on nobody but themselves, right? So they may be dealing with some childhood trauma, some type of childhood issue, right? But it's called, it's, it's creating almost like a monster. You know, um, I, a lot of people don't really care for people too much, who likes to brag or show off or constantly talk about all of their victories? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's what this person does. They, they, they're they a constant reminder of how unsuccessful you are. And not saying you as their person, but people in general, right? Everybody's almost beneath them. Like they got this kind of... I'm better than you type of attitude or they're conceited or they just don't give a fuck about how nobody else feel. Look, bitch, I'm winning and get you some. Right? So it's like that kind of thing. Okay? Queen of Cups. Like I said, they love their self. Okay, they take really good care of themselves. This person may look really nice. They may have really smooth skin, you know, and I don't feel like everybody could even touch them. You know what I mean by touch them? Some people, they it's like they put themselves up on such a high pedestal that some people who ain't vibrating high or got self-esteem issues or low confidence, you know, this person could be very intimidating to someone like that. Okay, so I don't think like a lot of people outside of the people they love or who loves them fuck with them like that. You know, sometimes it could be a good thing. Sometimes it could be a bit of a challenge, right? But like I said, this person gets bored easily because they feel like no one is on their level here. And they may miss out on a lot doing that, but in their mind... They're not missing out on nothing. It's like they the type of person. It's like you got to be on my level for me to even 
listen to anything you say or for me to even in it entertain you in some type of way it's like this person will come in and scan a room it's like like i said once they conquer something they ready to go you know what i'm saying once they get a vibe that there's no one that they can actually connect with or have an intelligent conversation with you know it's like um torture being there after that you know so they definitely little hyper kind of like you know thing like okay six of swords yeah they just be ready to go when they scan a room and and it ain't what they want it to be or if it's not touching that intellect in no type of way i think that you know they just be ready to go they don't like entertaining nonsense in no shape form or fashion They like valuable conversations. They like things, you know, that mean something to them. They're rather controlling and they need to learn to loosen up a little bit and sometimes just go with the flow. Because, you know, you never, you can learn a lot from a dummy, 11, 11 on the clock. Tell me you can learn a lot from a fucking dummy and your person sitting up here, you know, with that kind of attitude, like, like I said, if you cannot intellectually entertain me i gotta go so this person may you know it's like they don't stick around long enough to see what good could come out of something okay they kind of controlling and the universe is encouraging that this person you know kind of go with the flow sometimes chill sometimes pay you know uh look at these people listen to them you know it's like a fucking blue collar motherfucker who just look down on people or belittle people who just ain't where they at like this person that went so hard they didn't built this ego so tough that they don't even you know want to see nothing less yet alone have a conversation or sit around parlay and waste my time because it seems like if it ain't an opportunity for them then it's nothing and like I said, sometimes that could be a good or bad thing. But, you know, I don't even know how they got you. You feel me? So, also, this King of Swords. Because I know you're not like that. That's why I said that, you know. Sometimes maybe opposites attract. But this person definitely has a strong, strong personality. And they definitely um, feel like they are the shit. Okay? Could be a Leo. But anyway, the King of Swords is here, Pisces. And it speaks of how highly intelligent they are. You know what I'm saying? But when I when I when I what I feel off this King of Swords is that this person is constantly at war with themselves. They at war with themselves because they want to be the best of the best of the best. And even when they do their best, they want to be better. Nothing is never enough for them. Six of Swords. Well, the moving on card here. Okay? It just be seeming like only a matter of time. This person feel like something is only a matter of time before they move on. Okay? And that may be something that may be in relevance to you. Because I, I felt it, right? I felt that. So, you and this person's time may be up. Justice. Okay? And this speaks of fairness. This speaks of balance. This speaks of patience. It speaks of trust. Maybe they trust that you will move with them when the time is right. Okay? I, I, something about um, fairness. Maybe they're going to give you a, a choice, you know, the option to choose something. Okay? I'm almost feeling like moving on with me or, you know, make your decision. Something. But, okay. High Priestess. Hmm. This person definitely has some form of secret that they want to open up. Okay? So, maybe they want to talk to you about this tower. 
So Pisces, I feel like this person wants to move on with you. You know, I feel like they want, they feel, it's almost like they got to share this with you. It's a secret, but it's like they want to open up and talk about it. It's like they want to share whatever that is that got them this way. It's like they want to open up and talk to you about it. They want to talk about it, reveal it to somebody. So you can make a fair choice or have the option to choose what you want to do from this point on. You know? So whatever's going on between you two, you know, and I think it has a lot to do with their attitude. And however that affects you or however that makes the dynamic of this connection go. I think this person is ready to open up and confess something and hopes that you understand, right? But when justice comes out, it's like it's only a matter of time. It's like they cannot hold it no more, right? I, I see them wanting to express to you what's going on with them, why I am the way I am, you know, because I feel like they have a clear understanding. It's just something that they couldn't let go of and maybe... Like now, they want to move on, talking about it, opening up about it could possibly, you know, be the thing that that helps them to release that need to be the best of the best of the best. Because I think now they're starting to realize that they've pretty much pushed so many people or great things or opportunities away from them because of their behavior you know, that it's, 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 it's going to be sad alone. And I think this person is had an epiphany of some sort and come to some form of realization. And I think they want to move away from that ego a little bit. And I think they want to confess to you because you may be wanting to move or however, you know, and I think they want to just kind of give you a clearer understanding of why they're this way. This is what happened to me. Or this is what was taken from me. This is what I lost. And this is what I can't let go of. Because this, I have not healed from this. I've been holding on to this so long. And I use being the best as a way to hide it or cover it up. So anytime I conquer something, if I sit and marinate it, it's going to bring up what I lost or what I, a memory or whatever it is. And, and I don't want to feel that. So I haven't healed from it. I haven't released it. I'm running from something. Okay. So I think they want to be fair to you. So that you all can move on and be better together. I don't know. Let's see. What else? Nine of wands. Comes with this six of, of swords. Moving on card. Okay. There's a lot of things they have not healed from. You know, there's a lot of stress in the mind. There's a lot of boundaries this person has set up around them too. Okay? Because they don't never want to touch that. But I see this one wand in their hand and I see them beginning to open up more to you. Because they don't want you to give up on them. Right? You probably the only person who stuck around with them this long. Because you're not wanting to give up either. Okay, but that's what the universe wants you to know about your person, Pisces. Whatever's driving them to be the best of the best or to have an ego or to be so confident or, you know, uh, sadity, conceited, uppity, whatever, better than everybody, you know, don't have time to mingle and jingle, you know, I, whatever's making them be that way, I think they want to talk to you about it so that you could continue to stick with them. So that you two can move on. So that they can start to begin to heal. Okay. Five of cups crossing all their energy. It's because they're not happy inside. This what they're doing. Constantly going, going, going. It's not really making them happy. They realize that yes, the past can hurt. But I'm starting to learn from it. I ha I've been covering myself from the person who loved me, the people who love me. Nobody really gets me or understand me because I don't speak of this sadness that I have within me. 
I don't speak of what was taken from me, what was lost. You know? And honestly, I didn't want to say it. But your person may have been touched inappropriately as a child. And it's not an easy thing to talk about. It's not something you just randomly tell people. It's a hard pill to swallow. And whatever happened with that, this person tries to bury it deep down. But it's something they just can't let go because they haven't faced it. They haven't healed from it. They just work hard to be better. I think it started of working to get away or get out, you know, of a situation. And, and it just became obsessive. It became the thing that drives me. It became my new friend. It became my new obsession, my new addiction. Because whatever happened to them changed their life. And it still saddens them to this day. And they hide it from everybody that they love. Or that loves them. Sometimes they could be so closed off that they push people away. Right? The magician. Okay? This person has to learn to understand what goes around comes around. Right? And you can't change the past. You can only change yourself. Right? And I think with this magician card, I feel like it's just their past coming back around because they have to deal with it this time. It's it's the universe telling them that you have everything you need to do to begin the healing process. Right? Give it some time. Give it some effort. Work on it. Face it. Right? So you can release the burden. Right? You keep holding on to the burden and it's ruining your happy life. It's ruining you from the beginning. Right? It just keeps taking you back through the same cycle. And each time you go through that cycle, you want to work harder. You want to be better. You want to, you know what I'm saying? So this is the energy, Pisces. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped someone. I hope you have a better understanding of why they are the way they are. Right. And for most of you or some of you, I really feel like your person wants to openly talk about it. I think they really want to share parts of it with you. All right. So let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Oof. Pisces, we have the first chakra and it's the base chakra. And this one is relevant to courage and faith. I embrace courage, faith, and adaptability as they are needed for me to overcome my fear of change or of the future. I regularly remind myself to be positive and open to possibilities, knowing that I am the creator of my own destiny. I embrace the warrior within me. I remind myself to be a warrior, not a worrier. I am not a victim. I feel the fear and I do it anyway. I am ready and eager to move forwards. That almost brought me, I felt sad. You know what I'm saying? Reading this for why? Like I felt sad because I felt like this, this is the, this is what your person really wants to do. They want to have courage and faith. They want to trust in somebody. I feel like they're getting tired, right? And I feel like they felt like they had to be a warrior. They didn't need to show signs of weakness, emotion in that manner. You know what I'm saying? And, and they don't want to be the victim no more. I feel like this is your person, you know, taking back their power. They're ready to move on from this feeling and this fear. They never dealt with it, right? They adapted to it. And they need to overcome this in order for to change the future or to change them now. And, they, it, and it says I have to regularly remind myself to be positive and open to possibilities, knowing that I am the creator of my own destiny. And it's like this person thought fortune, fame, or being the best, was going to make them forget all about it. And it didn't. And within the midst of that. They go to realize that. 
I've missed out on a lot. I've lost a lot of people because of my arrogance. And now I just want to move on from that. And that's why I think they want to open up to you, Pisces, because you may have been the only one who stuck it out with them this long. All right, so courage and faith is the positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.